Hey, hello there Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. And thank you for tuning in to the Energies and Influences coming through for your mid-month reading, January 13th to the 19th. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take the portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe and like and comment. Not only does that really help me out, but it helps to bring your vibrations into the future readings. And I send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. And it's about how to draw more gratitude into your life. Okay, Capricorn. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card... It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Capricorn, you have the Eight of Pentacles. This is your energy. This Eight of Pentacles, it's a symbol for striving for self-perfection. -perf this is dedication. Could be learning a trade or a prof profession. This is something that you do repetitive, but it is the beginning of a profitable undertaking. This could be employment or commission to come. This is skill in material affairs. It's handiwork and the arts. Sometimes being an apprentice, but this is employment to come. This is being meticulous and being steadfast and industrious and disciplined. You're also skillful and methodical and proud of your precise work. You're detail-oriented. You could be perfecting a skill, taking classes, doing homework, paying attention to detail in your craftsmanship. This is doing something repetitive, improving yourself, repairing. This is satisfaction in your work, and things are evolving nicely. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. Number 18 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Moon. This card could be a Pisces in your life. But this card deals with the realm of imagination, dreams, and intuition. It has to do with sleep and dreams, and some, sometimes deception. Something unforeseen. This could be insecurity. This has to do with intuition and imagination. This is the unfoldment of latent psychic powers. There may be someone around you that does not have your best interests at heart. This is exploring the inner unknown. It has to do with fantasies and dreams. The moon's light has always aroused strange passions. The moon brings out the animal and the primeval side in us. These are very deep fear, fears that we can never name. For they come from deep within ourselves. Such fears never entirely surface. They always sink back again. But if we accept this strange side of us, the moon will calm us as well as arouse. These are fears and anxieties, and also fantasies, and even psychic talent. These are feelings and responses to these feelings. You may feel moody and have faced some emotional tests. This is a reminder to go with the flow. You might be creative and imaginative, artistic, empathetic, and emotional. 
your third card, and this is how it affects you. Number 12 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, The Hanged Man. This is a sacred pursuit and seen from a new perspective. Some kind of sacrifice may need to be made. This is suspension and attachment and it's self-surrender to higher wisdom. This is surrendering to what is. And in spiritual matters, it's wisdom and prophetic power. This is a pause in your life. It's suspended decisions. This self-surrender, it leads to transformation of the personality. So material temptation is conquered. Wisdom comes into your life and discernment. There's more intuition. This could be divination and prophecy. It's patience and waiting and a review. This is one of the tarot's strongest and most powerful images. This is someone who connects to the deep currents of life. Someone who knows his own mind. And there's someone independent with their own values. And now peace and self-reliance is what often follows a difficult period, especially one of self-examination. This is being humble and self-sacrificing, sometimes frustrated, or feeling lost like you're in limbo. You might feel powerless to effect change. But you're just suspended between the past and the future because a new direction in your life is for the making. Readjustment is needed, but there's no hurry. So pay attention to your inner development and be prepared to dance to a different drummer in the future. Your fourth card. This is the position of the future. The results, the outcome, and the advice. The Six of Pentacles, Capricorn. This is great. This is harmony. And this is others sharing with you justly. It's the give and take of money. You're in a balanced position concerning your income and the outflow. There's good things coming to you and going out from you. Could be approval of a loan. Or a friend or a family member may lend or give money to help out. But money owed you is going to be paid. And prosperity should be shared with others. Because this is a win-win situation. Represents dispensation. This is being a successful merchant. Being charitable and supportive. And being benevolent. And the needy is submissive and needful and appreciative. And the giver is rewarding others, making donations or paying bills, even mentoring others. And the needy is petitioning, receiving financial assistance. The shadow to the card would be the giver is patronizing others or keeping others dependent or buying love. The shadow for the needy would be feeling degraded or begging for attention or having to earn love and settling for too little. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The two of pentacles. Capricorn. More earth energy got pentacles all over this reading. This is changing and multitasking and juggling. This is the ability to juggle two situations at one time. And your skillful manipulation is going to achieve success. Another harmony card. And this is in the midst of your changes going on. 
This is good fortune and enjoyment. This could be a message coming about money. So better times lie ahead. So adapt to these changes. This is someone using nimble movement. Could be dealing with a lot, but with ease. There is a need to be flexible. So go with the flow. And you'll be handling those ups and downs of life just fine. Maybe following the money. Or you may need to travel or even move house to take advantage of material opportunities. This is a shift in life's focus. New facts and new results come to the foreground and they're going to present you with a new perspective. Wow. You need and you do find new results. And when your life undergoes change, it's normal to have some insecurity and temporary upsets. Like the moon card, the insecurities remind us that it's just you don't know how your actions are affecting your future, so you have to endure these insecurities, and you're going to get through it. This is casting off old habits. It may be necessary to keep several things going at once, but you're going to have harmony with this change, and you're going to be flexible enough to keep everything moving. A change in your money situation is favorable, no doubt. Thanks, you guys. Now stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. Take note. This is an exercise to align our vibration with gratitude. If we wish to experience gratitude, take some time and sit down and write a list of the things you are grateful for. Continue to write your list until your eyes are filling with tears. And as the tears come, take note of the most beautiful feeling around your heart and how that feeling emanates through your body. That feeling is true gratitude. And now you know how to recreate this feeling. Remember, the magician reminds us, what we focus on, we bring to us. With practice, we can reproduce this feeling, and in a short time, we can bring gratitude in our body in virtually instantly. Well, I feel gratitude for my viewers and my subscribers. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out. Love and light. Thanks for watching.